just K Mac, the, the incredible K Mac from the world renowned Inner Vibe Sound. And you're now in tune to the beat breakdown. Super fly, a heckle, yeah. My style, I step on you worldwide, respectable. Girls, are oh you yeah, that? Fresh dress, impeccable. Right. North Philly, my town. Homicide, I murder you. I ain't really know how to really where to set it up at, but it's probably the best, the best spot for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it looks good. It's all good. I see the mic, I see you, know I mean, you got your speaker, your laptop set up. What's that, an NPC? Yeah, it's an MP, yup. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hip hop, hip hop. Yeah, that's that's what I started out on. So yeah, you know I mean, I kind of stick to the hardware. I remember when me and you met in West Philly, it was love from the get go. So I was like, as soon as you hit me up, he was like, yo, I might be interested in working with you. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I want to know and, and dive into it for the, you know the listeners that's listening. How did you come up with the concept of inner vibe sound? Because I know it get deep. How did you come up with the concept and the name of inner vibe sound? When I was younger. I used to listen to a lot of uh, reggae. In the 80s, you could go get uh, a sound class cassette. So reggae, they got sound systems. They might both come to a party or might both come to the park and they both set up and they a battle. Between that, that and hip hop was like cousins or brothers to me. Like that's how, how, how much I listened to both of them at the same time. I really love how the artists used to make dub plays for the sound systems and they used to play one of their hit records, but they'll say Stone Love in, in, in their record. Like Bounty Killer might sing one of his fam- good songs, and he might he might say Bound Again. I was I was fascinated by that, so gotcha. I said, "Fuck it, I, I'm gonna be a DJ." I, you know, I was I was always into you know turntable because I always been in hip hop from the mm-hmm. get go. Yeah. So I I came up, I just I came up with a name. It, it was in a vibes first, then I started making um a reggae mixtapes basically. I used to go out on on Market Street and and post up out there right at the 11th Market on the corner on top of a trash can. Have my radio and I used to play my reggae mixes that I put together. End of, end of the tape, I might rap over top of reggae beats or whatever. You know, I, mean, I did that. Well, you know, I made money too. I had a little Telex machine, dubbing my, my cassettes, go out there selling for, I think I was selling for $10. But okay. I was making money though. Enough money that I had a crazy record collection. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Every week yep. I was going to buy records and shit. It, it was, I, and I wasn't spending none of my own bread. It was all flip money. So yeah. that way, that's where the end of our sound come from. I got, I got copyright rate papers from 93. Damn. You know? Okay. I was just I was just talking to a lawyer, getting my uh my logo uh registered, you know, getting it uh trademark owning that joint basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm I'm glad you mentioned that, bro, because it's like I mean I was born 1995, so I'm just putting my age out there. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm a, I'm a young buck with an old soul, baby. Right, uh, I, I I'm influenced by people like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. But no doubt. When you talk about 1993 and mm. you're in the mindset of, yo, I want to copyright my material. Mike Elliott, he had a book I read. That really put me on getting a publishing company, BMI. Mm. And you know how we used to record on the four track? Yeah. The four tracks used to have a cassette. Mm-hmm. I was doing BMI from back then. I got publishing on songs that's just on cassette tape. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but well, now, what I did, though, that was good I did that because I put a whole album out with all four track music. I took the four track to the uh, studio. I popped it up on Pro Tools, connected it. They wasn't super clean, but if you go on Spotify and you punch in more reality and you, you're going to hear a whole bunch of, all that all that whole album is four track music that I four did in my basement. Music. Wow. I did, I, did my, I did in the basement, yeah. I had an old MPC, I had an MPC 62. What kind of inspires you, man, to keep going? And I mean, you making beats, I see that you writing. I already did like four albums and shit. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna put this out. And then uh, I was I was married at the time. She always said that music was a hindrance to to their, our marriage and shit. 
I had put it down, put it on hold to try to work that joint out. And at the end of the day, she eventually came around and came and said to me, really, I was just jealous of your music. You had an outlet. I stopped doing this shit when I was in my prom prom, you know what I'm saying? And I stopped, yeah. I was like, I'm working with my family because I had babies yeah. working with my family. And But you know, everything come back around now. But I learned more, I got more up here to write about. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, my concept's still still tight. Everything's still, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the production, the, the hardware done got better. So it's kind of easy for me now. When I went on your website, I was looking at pictures of you when you was young. Right. You know what I'm saying? You had to be like yeah. 19, 20, something like that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I used to be in the music. I used to be in that joint heavy, man. <laughs> I, used to be in, I used to be in conferences in there. I used to go to prime conferences and all that, man. You was kicking it with some legends, man. I seen you with KS1. No, 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 no. I seen no, no. you with Jermaine Dupree. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Black Thought, you see Black Thought on that Black day? Thought, yo, I see him. I Black Thought. He ain't even had no beard for real. <laughs> no, he was, no, I knew Black Thought when he was regular. He wasn't like the super, he wasn't Superman yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was just regular. But he still got that, he had that shit though, but he wasn't Superman yet. Right now, he's Superman right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's Superman right now. Yo, he what was, was that like back in the day, man? Just vibing with those cool old heads. Oh, nah. It was it was good shit, man. It was good. It was good. Let's dive into hard push. All right. I like that. Yeah. I checked out a couple joints. My right. my favorite thing so far before even diving into the music of it is the cover art. It's a oh, wow. I, I, I could tell it's a lot of uh meaning meaningful things behind the cover. Right. My, my my son's girlfriend did the art for that joint. I was like, yo, I'm too old to be taking pictures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some artwork and I gave her a different couple of ideas. I wanted I knew I wanted the city. I wanted, you know what I mean, me, me in the big in, big in the building like I'm you know what I mean mm -hmm. turn to you know, I wanted all that. So I gave her the idea and she put that joint together. Got two of my sons on there, got my two of my grandbabies on there. You got the uh, city behind you. Yeah, got the city behind, <laughs> you know what I mean? African Queen, is that a part of Hard Push? Yeah, no doubt. That's one that I, I vibe with that song, bro. I just was listening to it, and right. I was like, this, this song is really dope. Meaning, like, right. I just love meaningful content, man. You know what I mean? That's a good joint. What, what inspired you to write that? Just, just uh, listening to how the young guys view the women. We don't cherish the black woman. And it seemed like that's all over the globe. It don't just seem like it's here. So I just felt that, you know, you know, we needed some more positive vibes for, for the sisters, the, you know, for the young girls, you know, to listen to and hear that, you know, all all guys, you know, all black men, we, we ain't all fuck y'all and bitches and hoes, you know what I mean? Some yeah. of us really got love. Some of us really got love and we really, you know, we care what's going on. My boy, MP4, Chester Boy, me and him co-produced that joint. That's what came out, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When you read a little bit, you got a little knowledge yourself, that type of stuff will flow. I think that's really the problem. Why we don't get that from the young guys right now. Yeah. Because we don't really know who we are. And yeah. it, a lot of money has been spent to keep us ignorant. We just got to work on training our own kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? We, we letting somebody that don't care about us train the kid. Um, you know? As far as your sound and you as a producer, how do you classify in a vibe sound? Traditional hip hop. If I can call it tradition, hip hop tradition, you know what I mean? You know, I like to use a uh, boom bap type of type of joints. Well, as a producer, when you're making beats, mm. start with the drums or do you start with the melody? I'll do both. All right, this is where I got this. The moment you listen to this, now watch this. Like, this this one this for a new project I'm working on. I got another album I'm working on right now. Okay. I had an old head that I used to get get uh get my uh, records from old records yeah. when I was sampling real heavy. Uh huh. He used to be like, "Yo, try to make your John arrangement like a real band, like what horn, put a, try to put a horn in there." Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, you know what I mean? Drum rolls, stuff like I love that. Those sounds, bro. What What's your favorite beat that you produce? Favorite joint though. <laughs> oh man, they like my kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? They all different. You know, you love them all, but you know. They all different, but I, they like my kids. I can't really say what's my can't favorite. Really say. My favorite song is probably one of them two songs I, I sent you. As far as the songs that I produce by myself, 
Cause I'm the studio to song is, you know, good because I played the, the little bass line in the joint, you know, the hard push song. I put my, my son on there. He don't even rap, but I got him in there. On the, on got the him version. in there anyway. <laughs> I got him up there, you know what I mean? And I and I gave him some publishing, you know what I'm talking about? I've been wanting to mess with track lists because they clear the samples and all that. They clear the samples, yeah. You know what I mean? Fight track list. Right. Right, 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 right. But um, I like I like Somatic just because I don't got to clear no samples and I can get stuff like this off it. Um, that's a symbol I got in there. This horn is a sample, though. This okay. is a sample, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It. Hold up. It's another sound I got in there. So you can see what I did with the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I basically I rewrote the bitch, you know what I mean? All right, that's the bass line I got in that joint. Bass line, okay. I might have not had the whole beat done yet. I might I might get to a certain point, I hear, might hear that, and it might inspire me to write to it, you know what I mean? So I used to make beats with the old MPC, and I only had 13 seconds. Oh, wow. So I had to speed up the record, snatch the joint off, you know what I mean? You had to speed up all the records to get much of the same, you get it, chop it down. Cause you only have 13 seconds to use. So this is this is easy. Like I don't need that much because I'm used to making beats with 13 seconds. And less is always more. You know what I mean? Real basic. That joint sound clean. Man. When I played that shit in the studio, I was like, yeah, they play this shit on the system. Right. I knew that shit was not. Most of them joints that, that, that I make with this joint, um, I know when I hear it on the system, that shit going to be crazy you know what i mean <laughs> going, i know it's gonna sound clean that's gonna be crispy you know what i mean you gotta do the it's car crazy. test too bro the car test oh. important baby but now listen that's what now this what that's what i mix off i mix off the car because now okay. i got into recording i record my own stuff now because my for that hard push i went to i went to a couple studios homeroom studios and i went to black ball i'm sitting in the studio next to the engineer and i'm, I'm telling him i like this i like that take this out take this out i'm like man i could do this myself. I'm, listen, I'm taking it home and I'm listening to it, right? I'm in the car because I go in my car. I turn it up. I ride, let ride to it in the car. I'm like, all right, I need some this and need that. This is not, I don't like it. I vocal sound, bong, bong, bong. So I go back and I adjust it. Mm -hmm. You do whatever. But I'm watching what they're doing now. They got a plug-in mix, a plug-in that. Yep. They got preset mixes. So if I'm paying attention, I'm like, all right, got a plug-in, plug-in, plug I'm like, okay, he ain't mixing my junk. Right. I'm he killing me. <laughs> if, if you don't know no better, you thinking that he did a different mix. Right. Bounce that shit down, give it to me. I listen to it again. I might be three, four times of this shit. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, yo, I need highs, I need mids, bum, 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 need a little more kick. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, fuck it. So I, so I said, on this album, I'm going to learn I'm gonna learn one of these dolls, and I'm going uh, to work it out. I'm glad I... Uh, I got me a uh, focus right, 18 out of 20. Got me a couple monitors, KRK, Rocket Fives, whatever you call them. That's all you need. Basically, look, <laughs> I can hear my shit. And, and look, my mix be good because when I get in the car, that shit be I'm like, yo, I only got I only got to do much. So these little speakers is good. Mm -hmm. All them crazy speakers all over the studio and all that. These joints right here. I only got to turn them up real loud to hear how it looks. Because sometimes you can be in the studio and it might sound like this. And then you get it somewhere else and don't. And you be like, damn, you know what I right. mean? Sound like Right. What does mm -hmm. the future of Innovive sound look like? I'm, I'm going to record a few albums, try to catch up on some lost time, I'm get some merch together, build my brand up a little bit, and maybe I can get a get a placement on a Drake or, a, you know, uh, Rhapsody, well, whoever, Del P. I'm trying to get into recording, like producing a whole album for people, stuff like that. The shit that Hit Boy be doing with, like he did with Nas, he did with... Uh, uh, Benny the Butcher. I'm cool with that one song here, one song there, but I think it's better. I would rather work with a producer and do a whole project. All I really want nowadays is just getting my publishing, getting my credit, and I'm cool. I think that's penny pinching when I gotta say, I'm gonna say this beat for 300 or 200, but then I still want my money on the back end. I want my publishing. I, want, I, I might as well, I'm gonna give you these joints. Let's work. We can do the contract on the publishing. 50, you know, it only got 50 50 publishing, whatever you writing, I'm, I'm producing. And let's put that, put that shit out and make it go and shit. So I'm just basically trying to grow my brand, dog. That's all. Anything you want to say to people who would want to get to the position that you're in? Keep working. You know what I mean? Invest your money in yourself. Everybody started somewhere. They, nobody started out at, as the greatest nothing. Everybody had to work up to where they at. You know what I mean? You can listen to every artist. If they let you hear their demos to, to where they at right now, I'm sure it's not 
they not the polished producer or rapper that they were, you know, when they started out. So just keep working. You know what I mean? And uh, just try to do some music that inspires people to do something positive. Hard push, hard push. My dude, like, just give me a hard push. Hard push, hard push. All I really need is a hard push. Hard push, hard push. My dude, just give me a hard push.